Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dialed In. Today is Monday, the 27th of February, and we are going to talk about all the new Mobile World Congress news that is coming out of the show. Uh, Basically, Mobile World Congress has arrived in full force. The premier European tech show for all things mobile phone related, Mobile World Congress is getting bigger and wilder than ever. So, you know, basically yesterday we had a ton of uh, phones that hit, as well as uh, some tablets too. We're talking folks from uh, Samsung, LG, HTC, Sony, even uh, lesser known companies like uh, Huawei had uh, some pretty bold statements yesterday and today. So uh, we're going to talk about all those things. Today we're joined by the awesome Lynn Law. Hello. Hey, Lynn. Hi. Hey, glad you can join us. And we have a special treat for you guys out there who've listened to the show for a while. It's Bonnie Cha. Hello, hello. The, the Yay, illustrious Bonnie. Bonnie Cha has joined us. <laughs> so, uh, you know, give, give it a hand for her. And we're going to be chatting about all the new uh, stuff that came out of Mobile World Congress. So if you guys don't know... Uh, I'm sure you do, but Mobile World Congress is the major show that happens in Barcelona and Spain. Uh, and basically, you know, all these phone makers, um, it used to be a lot of uh, just purely European launches and global yeah. announcements. But now it kind of like sets the stage of what is going to happen for the rest of the year, including the U.S. So it's become a really big show, I think, as far as mobile news. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because, uh, I mean, you know, from what I can tell, I mean, wasn't there like uh, some? First of all, we'll be getting into all the details really quick, but uh, in a minute. But yeah. um, I mean, this—I don't know if this is the first time that's happened. But we had two devices from HTC that were announced that were, uh, you know, they announced actual U.S. carriers. Um, yeah, which usually, is crazy. It is because usually, you know, in the years past that I've gone, they you know announce these phones, but they never have any U.S. specific details. They're always like, oh, we'll announce that later. It's always kind of like global. Right, you know, Europe or Asia, but it's good to see that they're addressing the U.S. audience now. I know it's uh, it's pretty wild. And then yeah. you know, of course, uh, last week we talked about how Verizon uh, had a presence at last year's show and is supposed to have a presence at this year's show, mm-hmm. uh, and that's pretty amazing. So we've got you know basically like you know what is it the American invasion of uh, of <laughs> Barcelona? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but it's pretty cool. And just to jump into the news uh, really quick. Um, you can check out a recap of uh, day one. I called it day one. I wrote a really a recap, a really quick recap of this. But it's technically, it's really day zero. Mm-hmm. But it's the first day that we had folks there, and it seems like the first day for everyone, just because so many press conferences happened. Yeah. Um, we had uh, first we had uh, Huawei, and they made some really crazy boasts, saying that they had the fastest smartphone in the world. Right. Which is, I mean, for hello, now. that's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For like you know, for a minute or two, <laughs> you know. I mean, it's it's. Uh, if you guys don't know, it's the Ascend D Quad, which is doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but uh, it's basically a uh, smartphone that is running a quad core chip that uh, Huawei actually designed themselves. Yeah, I found that interesting that they went with the chip that they made themselves instead of using you know an Nvidia chip or a Qualcomm or you know. So right, exa- exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's 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 interesting how they would, uh, you know, come on stage and start talking about, you know, how this phone is, you know, the best mm-hmm. uh, and and the fastest and all of that stuff. Um, especially when they're coming out with a with a phone that that's running a processor that's no one's ever tested before. Right. Um, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take all the quad core news um, that we can get. You know. Yeah, it seems um, like uh, Huawei is really kind of stepping up their game because they've been known more for kind of lower end phones, right? Yeah, more like entry level stuff. But though, though they did uh, at uh, what was it uh, just the other day at CES, they sh- were showing off some global phones that yeah. had uh, yeah had ice cream sandwich. It right. was like one of the first ones actually I saw personally that had ice cream sandwich running mm-hmm. um, Android four point Yeah, so uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, and then on top of that, we had uh, you know LG coming out with uh, their LG 4X HD, uh, which is actually going to be a quad-core device and running Tegra 3, NVIDIA's Tegra 3 chip. So, 
Um, and they're 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 definitely bringing their game as well to this show. Yeah, and one thing I wanted to bring up, um, Roger had this story, but it sounds like LG and Google are in talks of possibly doing a Nexus phone, which is oh, yes. pretty interesting. Um, you know, some people thought maybe with the Google Motorola merger that you know Motorola would be like kind of the you know, go to manufacturer for their Nexus devices. But I guess, you know, maybe this is Google's way of saying, hey, we're, we're still committed to other manufacturers too. And um, Yeah, I know. That, yeah. Uh, and it actually, I'm sure that would that would make LG very happy and Samsung very upset, which would probably make yeah. LG ha- me yeah. more happy. Definitely. <laughs> LG was quick to say, though, that nothing's been, like, set in stone or anything, but they're definitely in talk. So we'll see what happens. We'll see who makes the next Nexus phone. Yeah, and, and you know... Um, now, Lynn, I know that you kind of uh, had a chance to check out some of these uh, these phones, at least from not really in person in Barcelona, but um, just just from you know checking out the news. Uh, I mean, do you, do you what do you think of the VU? There's also the Optimus VU, which is the Galaxy Note competitor. Um, I mean, that's an interesting device there too and they announced that at the show as well yeah i mean i think we were expecting it anyways we 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 call it vu or view i think uh, jessica likes view but um me and brian <laughs> oh, yeah. keep calling it vu because it's <laughs> i i i like the way that sounds personally i don't know it's and a the way last it's... name that's the only oh, way, is that way yeah <laughs> but um yeah and we're excited about it because it's kind of you know knocking on galaxy notes territory with mm-hmm. the screen size and um and we knew that it was going to be announced and, and they did announce it so it's a five inch screen and um, and it's kind of like a tablet tablet phone kind of thing, and it's going to be fast, we believe. So, um, it had, oh well, it, it's not quad core, but it will be a dual core processor. So, um, we're kind of looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. So yeah. Do you are guys? you are you looking forward to the stylus though? I mean, that's that's yes, the question. No. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you. Do you guys think that's going to become the next trend, like? Bigger phones with styluses again? I think styli. Styli, yeah. <laughs> I think it would just kind of been a weird thing if Galaxy Note was the only one that came out with right. the stylus and no one else did anything. Yeah. So then now that the LG is going to release their um, Optimus Vue, it's kind of like, well, maybe now if it if the people don't like it, they're going to manufacture it anyways until maybe people really don't buy any of them from all the manufacturers. Yeah, but you know it's funny because you wonder. Can you really? You, I mean, we talked about this last week, but can you really see yourself using a, a stylus um, that often? Mm-hmm. I mean, I tried to. It's okay, but and sometimes it's kind of fun. But uh, I still just rather use my fingers if they're accurate. The, the enough, keyboard, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you know, I don't want to drop anything. I already drop stuff all the time. <laughs> as it is. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it'll fail. <laughs> yeah, it might. It might. And you know, there was also some other news too, which I'm kind of you know jumping around here and off of the uh, the chart but uh Roger also wrote about uh how Samsung mentioned mm-hmm. to him that they weren't too happy with their uh tab and uh, tablet sales um and they hope to actually you know make some make up some ground with the note and to me that's sort of funny cuz i think the note is like you know a, a device that won't sell as well as a tablet you yeah. know but well, uh i feel that's like just me. The thing with Samsung tablets is they have so many different models, you know, and it's you know, like size different. What was the last one they did? The Oh, right. The, the, they also announced the show uh, the Tab 2, right? Yeah. The, uh, yeah. And I just I think that's kind of confusing to the consumer. Very confusing. Like, yeah. what is the difference? And, you know, the one with know, the, I think the seven inch and now. The yeah. Inch and I think yeah. they need to kind of like narrow down the, or just focus more and. Mm-hmm. Come out with less models, but, you know, really distinct and really good models instead of releasing, hey, we have a dozen tablets that you can choose from. And actually, that's that's sort of the approach that uh, it seems that LG is taking, um, you know, by consolidating their line um, and just focusing on a few phones now. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and, and I guess they're kind of taking a, a page out of uh, Apple's book and uh, other folks, you know, trying to just you know, make something more easier for consumers to find and yeah. think about and, and just grab in the store, you know. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, and, and also actually HTC uh, did launch a few phones as well, actually three phones like we mentioned before. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, they, they, launched the, the one, they launched the One X. Um, and, well, actually, it's this whole line called the One, called One Right, mm-hmm. which is sort of confusing because you've got one out of <laughs> yeah. many, many three into ones. one. Yeah. Yes, three into one. 
you know, so I don't know. But um, basically, we have the One X, uh, which is which which is this is actually kind of funny because it is a quad core um, device, but uh, that's only the European model. It's so disappointing that the U.S. model is going to be dual core, well, correct? Yeah, right. that's right. Yeah. And so they announced that the a dual core version is going to be out um, on AT and T, uh, you know, in the spring, I believe. Um, so. I mean, that's that's a real bummer because, you know, we, we wanted to see the first U.S. Uh, quad-core smartphone, right? Yeah. I mean, there isn't one, right, right now. I, don't, is, I, don't I was so. going to ask, were any of the other quad-cores announced for U.S. or just global right now? I think they were all global. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because um, it's really, okay, you've got the LG uh, Optimus, mm-hmm. um, and that's the L, the the, uh, the LG 4X HD or whatever. Right. Um, <laughs> and then you have... Uh, it's really it's really the HT, HTC One X, which is dual, which is quad core global, um, and then you've got uh, that huge claim from Huawei, which is the Ascend mm-hmm. D quad. So um, you know, but all these are are global devices. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe the carriers didn't want to, you know, grab something that was you know that would just like kind of drop like a big boulder into their, right. their money uh, pond, as it were financial stream their whole plan you know because uh, i'm sure they have a lot of devices they'd like to sell first before someone uh you know they start selling uh, something that's so powerful yeah um so but yeah so i mean we, we so speaking of htc we've got we've got the the one x which is quad core we also have um the let's see the one s which is a uh device that it looks sort of, sort of like a what would you say like a um it seems like basically – let me just go back to the, the actual uh, uh, thing that we were checking out. But basically, like, there are three different devices. Like, the, the, one, the one X has a big, like, 4.5-inch screen, um, whereas the, the one oh, – four, Sorry, 4.7. I'm just – this is off the top of my head. Um, and, and then, then – oh, Sorry, and go the, ahead. Yeah. And then the one X – I mean, the one S has a 4.3-inch screen right yep. yep and then i think the one v i think it's the same it's, it's a 3.7 inch screen 3. so it's getting 7. smaller and smaller <laughs> exactly so so like you have you know at the bottom end actually it's kind of interesting because the one v um was announced for t-mobile that'll actually have a t-mobile availability no no no, no i'm sorry the one s was the one v doesn't have any uh announced carrier yet but right. the one the one v the smallest one um Harkens back to the the old legend, legend and yeah. Uh, but yeah, remember that, and uh, and also the even the hero, the European hero, mm-hmm. um, a bunch of years ago that actually had a, a unibody metal design with, uh, you know, this chin, yeah. <laughs> which uh, a lot of people hated. So, you know, some people liked it because it was interesting, but um, but anyway, so so that's the one V, and then the one S is more of like a uh, looks like a Nexus one to me. <laughs> yeah, like or even. Uh, you know, I was even going to say, like, like uh, a sensation, sensation or something, yeah. something like that, know. HTC sensation, because um, it has a kind of rounded look. Um, and then it also has uh, – the, well, the good news is that all three phones are running Ice Cream Sandwich, right. which is great. So, And will uh, they all have the new version of Sense as well? Or the yes, latest version of yes. Sense? Yeah. Yeah. They will have uh, – I think it's – what is it, 4.0, I think it is? Yeah. Yeah, so, well, the funny thing is uh, – uh, HTC did talk to CNET and uh, kind of described what the new version, the new version of Sense will be like, um, and they said that the whole idea is to, you know, since they've got ice cream sandwich there, they wanted to make Sense sort of act underneath the scene scenes, so it won't, uh, you know, get all. Uh, I'm, a, I'm paraphrasing, won't get up in your face and uh, <laughs> and you know, kind of hit you with all these fancy graphics right. or whatever. But they're trying to still provide the same functionality that Sense offers you know for like uh, social media integration and all that so uh that sounds pretty cool i definitely want to check it out yeah. in person hopefully so uh i know we have folks in barcelona now that are uh at the show and definitely check out um you know cnet.com for our mobile world congress coverage yeah. because we have uh lots of hands-on videos and photos of these devices too um the one i'm really curious about is actually the galaxy beam the one oh with the yeah projector. Yeah, the Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, that one. I, when I heard about that, that was I was really excited. Yeah, about that. and it's interesting that they're Samsung's kind of not not even going for the business set. They're going for like younger people who would use the projector sh- to show off their photos and video. Um, right. I don't know if I'm sold on that yet, though. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how. Think. I think it, it's I just mean, gonna be a neat party trick. Yeah, but then after a while, you're like, oh, I don't yeah, really need this. I don't want this projector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure it adds a lot of weight and a lot of like bat. It takes a the lot of battery, battery life. life. Is gonna be yeah. So, I mean, I would like to, personally, if I had something like that, I mean, okay, yeah, sure, I would uh, use it to, to play movies, like, at night or something like yeah. that, maybe, but uh, I would definitely want to put some sort of uh, planetarium on my on my. Oh, that'd be oh. cool. Yeah, that's-, <laughs> that's what I would do, immediately. Nice. So, immediately. Dev- developers out there, planetarium app, man. Oh, my God. Night light for kids. <laughs> so great. <laughs> so great. So, that's what I want to see. But uh, I think we're right now we're going to uh, take a little break. Uh, we'll be right back and uh, talk more about Mobile War Congress and what we have seen and expect to see. So stay tuned. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the CNET Dialed In podcast. We are talking all things Mobile World Congress today. The show officially kicked off today. Today is Monday, February 27th, 2012. And we're just getting the lowdown of uh, all the news that rolled out uh, rolled out yesterday from Mobile World Congress and, and this morning as well. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to chat about what is happening. Uh, first off, I mean, another thing that we wanted to mention and I want to mention was that the Sony, uh, the Sony had a press conference and they announced uh, the Xperia P and the Xperia U devices, which uh, they use the same design as the Xperia S, which kind of blew everyone away at uh, CES because it had such a pretty kick-butt uh, design. Very different. It looks like an obelisk from, uh, you know, 20 million years in the future. <laughs> <laughs> That's an exact date, everyone. Just let you know. um, so, but yeah, I mean, it's like it has this little thin uh Area on the bottom that is uh, transparent and that lights up uh, like a little crystal um, for notifications and all that. I mean, it's just a gorgeous phone. The one thing is that these devices uh, kind of disappointed though because mm-hmm. they're not dual core, they're not uh, quad, quad core, core. Uh, and they're not uh, they're not ice, they're not even ice cream sandwich. So Yikes. they're not at even least ice cream na- sandwich. Still in the yeah, gingerbread. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, that's the case. So huh. at least for now. So. Um, that was a shocker. So hopefully, uh, you know, they'll, uh, they'll fix that up and, uh, you know, maybe, 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 you, you know, this is the thing, of course, you don't know how, how much we really do need quad core really. Right. Um, you know, but I know it, we all like to chat about it. But. Yeah. Yeah. Quad core is less of an issue to me, but the fact that it's running gingerbread is what, an issue. What's kind of cool about the Xperia P though, is that, um, it could shoot 3d panoramas I read mm-hmm. and I thought that was kind of. Um, interesting. I haven't really heard that one before, but um, it has an eight megapixel camera and it could shoot two D and three D panoramas. And uh, I thought that was kind of nifty. Well, the funny thing is, um, actually, the back a uh, few months ago, I checked out the Sony X- Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc S. <sighs> that's a that's a long <laughs> name. Um, and uh, that phone actually did have that capability too. It has the capability to, to create uh, 3D panoramas. Basically, I think it takes the, um, the, it only has one lens on the camera, one camera, um, and it stitches basically images from the from one lens in, into another picture it takes with the same lens to kind of create this virtual 3D uh, effect. So um, I'm not sure how many people are actually going to use that <laughs> But uh, it, you know, it's interesting, you know, if you want to have uh, pictures of your house in 3D, you know. Yeah. I mean, I As do. As I always maybe. want to. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, it's a cool, it's an interesting, it's a, something that sets it apart uh, as well. Um, and then also they, they connect to uh, the Sony, well, first of all, these are the Sony, uh, the, the first phones or the two other phones that have been announced that are on uh, only the Sony brand, not the Sony ex- Sony pl- uh, Ericsson brand. So that's that's significant. And also, uh, they connect to you know Sony talks about how they connect to the Sony Entertainment Network, so you can you know rent movies and mm. music and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But um, so yeah, and then and then right after that, uh, there's the uh, Huawei. Uh, also made another claim besides saying that they had the world's fastest smartphone they came out and said they have the first 
ever quad core 10 inch tablet. Now, I just want to put it out there, folks. I wrote a quick post on this and um, I realized, oh my gosh, how can they be saying this? Because the, you know, the SUS, uh, what is it? The, the um, Transformer Prime, Transformer right? Transformer Prime, yeah. Yeah, that is technically the first quad core tablet um, that's 10 inch, 10.1 inch, one inches, I should say. Um, so I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> really, <laughs> really. I mean, w- w- where does, like, how, how, while way out, you know, out there, guys listening, how can you call this a 10, the first quad core 10 inch tablet when they already have one from uh, Asus? So, maybe unless the Asus si- one is the first 10.1 inch tablet and this is the first just <laughs> 10 inch tablet. They just didn't uh, make it. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> The, I'll let I'll let the uh, I'm sure the lawyers you know a lot of lawyers are gonna make a lot of money back and forth about <laughs> yeah. that. So we'll see how long that lasts. Um, and you know people got really upset at me for saying that uh, for for just titling the the post what I title it as. Oh, I was right. just honestly I was just checking out what Huawei said in their own press release. So and it's all over the website. So okay, but <laughs> fair enough. I hear what you're saying. Maybe it's not, you know, they're definitely trying to play a game here. So, uh, and then, uh, so Lynn, you're talking about, uh, you know, you saw the, or at least uh, wrote about the new uh, Nokia phones as well that were announced this morning, right? Yeah, I saw it. Well, I was, I saw it streamed. It was, uh, it was announced at 11:30 p.m. through about okay. 1 a.m. Um, Pacific time. So wow. that oh was a great way to spend the <laughs> night. But it was, <laughs> but it was really interesting. They announced, um, I think. Four new phones. It's a lot of. It's three. The two hundred three, two hundred three, and three hundred two, which is kind of their um, lower end um, phones in the Asha family. But the most interesting one is their new Lumia model. It's the Lumia six hundred and ten, and they made some um, announcements about the Lumia nine hundred that's been already out. The nine hundred's got to go global um, with um, with uh, Roger Wireless in Canada. Mm-hmm. Oh Canada. yeah, Rogers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And some news about going to China, which uh, we kind of expected. But the the new Lumia 610 is their kind of um, lower, not lower end, but it's just um, for a younger audience, they say it will be running Windows Phone Tango. And um, it has a 5 megapixel. Oh, Mango, you mean. Mango. Oh. No, Tango's the upcoming update. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, crap. That's Wait, didn't this, this just happened. Yeah. This morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, um, Tango. It'll have a 5-megapixel camera, 3.2-inch display. And um, before the subsidy, it will be $254. But over here in the United States, I don't know how much it will cost because we do have subsidy prices. So, And it's going to be um, – they, they talked about how it's going to be really integrated with Xbox Live users. So I don't have an Xbox account, so that wasn't – that didn't really matter to me, but I know people who um, have, and I think that they'd probably be excited about this phone um, if they have an Xbox account. That sounds pretty good, though. I'm still, you know, dealing and grappling with the idea that this thing is called Tango, the the, the as opposed to Mango. Mango. Can you can you possibly make it more uh, confusing? I think it's just um, ending in O. That's their thing, right? Uh, yeah. Is that, is that, yeah, that's kind of like, oh. yeah. So they're new ones. Tango. Yeah. So what's the Bingo. next one going to be? Bingo. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bingo, Hugo, bongo, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has to be a fruit, though, or some kind of. Well, tango is not a fruit. No. All right. Anyway, yeah. um, <laughs> that's uh, naming scheme <laughs> there. Yeah, I know these these smartphone names are just becoming so over the top. Um, and then, uh, Lynn, you you were talking about the the also the the. 80, sorry, oh, yeah, right. 808. The 808 Peer View. Um, there was a teaser a couple of, of days ago where it was just kind of like Nokia released this kind of video about people in the snow and they mentioned something Peer was going to come and they mentioned it, the word Peer like three times. And then finally we found out it's this new model called 808 Peer View and it has a 41 megapixel camera. That is wow. ridiculous. A gratuitous 41, 41 megapixel yeah. camera. <laughs> but, How much is it going to cost? Like uh, $500,000? or? Um, Six hundred and five. Um, oh, I know these um, numbers are really weird, but it's because it's in euros, and when they say it's in euros, it was like a kind right. of a flat rate. But it was, um, it was an even number. But six hundred five. It's coming out in May, um, and yeah, and it, they they talk about how the playback for the audio is really great. It's CD quality, um, audio playback. It has um, Dolby headphone technology, and just a lot of for the camera lovers. I I would think that this is what the phone's for. No, oh, I wonder. It, it, now it's a world device, though, right? It's not. Uh, it hasn't. They haven't sent any carrier 
No, uh, they didn't mention okay. any cars. Yeah, but it's six hundred and five euros. So yeah. if you have that in your uh, in your bank there. And they were talking about search. like how you could take pictures and blow it up and it'll be really clear and and if you want to make a poster out of something, then this is kind of the phone for you to do it. And we thought I, I thought that was kind of interesting just because it's nice to have a high resolution camera, but I have never taken a picture and thought I should make a billboard out of this photo. Yeah, I think <laughs> Josh Goldman actually made a good point in a tweet earlier this morning, and it's not necessarily that the 41 megapixels about high resolution um, photos, but rather about digital zooming mm -hmm. and things like that. So, you know, and I, it doesn't I think, lose quality when you zoom. Yeah, in and, and like I that, think yeah. we've seen like with camera phones it's not it doesn't just because it has a higher pixel megapixel camera doesn't always mean you're going to get the best picture quality yeah you know exactly like, i would think after like 12 megapixels it's kind yeah of like the done. difference is like <laughs> okay yeah so so uh yeah i mean you know definitely you know camera phones are you know cameras on phones or phones being used as cameras is a huge trend um so you know, definitely want to keep an eye on that because uh, HTC with their new phones also said that their cameras or their phones have awesome cameras. Right. Um, so it's definitely a trend that, you know, people want to take uh, lots of pictures with their with their phone as opposed to their camera. Uh, and let's, you know, let's just move on out actually really quick because we're running out of time. But uh, let's talk about a really quick, I'll just mention one review that I wrote uh, for you guys out there. We haven't been writing many reviews this week just because of Mobile World Congress. Um, but I took a look at the Jabra Sport Bluetooth headset. Um, it's not, I wasn't that impressed with it, to be honest. Uh, maybe just because my ears were too too small, but I couldn't fit it in my ears. Um, and it, they, you know, had a very uncomfortable fit. Um, but, you know, it's waterproof. It's uh, rugged. Uh, but it's a little pricey at $99. It's a Bluetooth headset uh, that's stereo. So you can connect to your phone and have, you know, make calls, that kind of thing. You can definitely check out the review um, online at CNET.com. And uh, that's pretty much the show, except we're going to just, you know, if I think we can take a look really quick at one uh, reader email. I don't know if you guys will be able to help me with this, but um, Brian Schlitt, uh, who uh, sent us an email basically asking, uh, you know, what kind of unlocked device could he get on Verizon that does LTE? Um, to me, I don't know. I mean, I feel his pain because I know that uh, everybody wants some LTE love there. But uh, unlocked devices are typically GSM. Yeah. Um, I haven't really – I mean, we talked about people trying to use unlocked uh, CDMA devices uh, from other carriers. That might work, but I haven't heard of anyone actually doing that, and it's also uh, not exactly the most legal thing to do. So, um, And they might just boot you off the network the second you hook it up. So I don't think there's a way to do it. But uh, I don't know, Bonnie. You probably haven't heard of anybody. Yeah, I mean, doing is this. he is he like committed to staying? Like, a, well, he wants to he wants to stay. In, he, yeah, he wants okay. to stay on Verizon. That's gotcha. why. Gotcha. So. Yeah, that's that gets tricky. I'm yeah, CDMA devices and. Yeah, I mean yeah. LTE technically, because I mean AT and T is using LTE now, right? right? So, mm -hmm. and they're but they have a, a kind of a hybrid network though. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no. I mean. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, the chances are too good. Uh, my, my feeling is, you know, try and – since your contract is up, maybe you should check out some other carriers, see what other LTE options are available. Right. I know that the, uh, the Galaxy Note delivered some really blazing 4G LTE speeds uh, on AT&T uh, in my view. So, um, I, you know, it looks like their network is pretty nice. So if you want to maybe shop around, take a look at what other phones are available. And AT&T is going to be having a lot of new phones being announced within the next few months, too. So uh, definitely check that out. So there you have it, folks. You have uh, just uh, listened to us for a full half hour, so hopefully you had a great time. <laughs> and uh, we're going we're gonna to sign off now. But, you know, as always, if you want to talk to us, send any feedback to us, just email us at dialedin at cnet.com or uh, leave us an old-school traditional voicemail at... 866-402-2638. You can also read all the news at dialedin.cnet.com and check out the podcast at podcast.cnet.com as well as other podcasts that we produce. So thanks for listening, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. All right, bye, guys. Bye.